Like it's this way. I think we're still this way. Well, here it is. Well, we came up on this deer carcass and there was actually a golden eagle on it, which was pretty cool. But this is, a, we got a mortality um, hit on this yesterday afternoon. Um, and so we got out here and as you can see, even in just less than 24 hours, um, it probably was dead before we got the mortality signal, but you know, within 24 hours, this carcass is for the most part cleaned up. Um, there's always a chance that sometimes like a coyote or something could be moving the collar around so it won't register as a mortality, but um, this is kind of the scene we usually get. So at this point, it's pretty hard, gonna be pretty hard to say what actually killed it. Um, we can look around and see if we can find any tracks or evidence of what might have been here scavenging at least. Document by taking a few pictures of the scene and record um, date, time, location, um, describe the scene. There's really, at this point, probably not gonna be able to determine exactly what killed it. This deer was collared as part of uh, our herd range study across Eastern Oregon for mule deer. Um, so the goal of that study was to try to define where deer are migrating to and, and determine uh, units of animals that are all basically sharing the same geographic area in terms of going to the same winter range and they might spread out for summer, but there's no overlap. There's no deer that are going, um, basically migrating out of one herd range into another one as much as possible. Uh, this collar was probably put out in January of 2020. Um, so still providing us information in terms of adult female survival, which is one of the most, one of the biggest metrics in terms of de uh, determining if your population is increasing or decreasing. Um, a lot of times adult female survival is pretty, pretty constant, but when we have a bad winter um, or there's a disease event, you can, you can see declines in that adult doe survival and that's really going to impact your population. Um, so having collars in the landscape is super important for helping us determine hunting seasons and, and how the health of the overall population is doing. So the one thing we can do on this one is we can collect a long bone, a femur, and we can take that back and determine. So one of the things we've had here in this wildlife management unit is a couple of outbreaks of uh, EHD and AHD adenovirus. Um, and we can actually determine from a long bone by sending that into our health lab if it had contracted that and survived at one point. Um, a lot of times, again, that's probably not what ended up killing this one. Um, we can also look at the bone marrow and determine the health of that animal. Um, so even though a cougar or a bear or some other predator may have actually killed it, we can look and see if it was already in poor shape and likely to, to die um, at some point soon.